Hello and welcome. I'm Rob and this is a new video from HDDR Entertainment. During the game you're about to see, the objective was to escort a VIP carrying a bomb towards the enemy base. The VIP is currently located near our own base, but we weren't able to push him and the opposing team back. That's why me and my teammate Peter decided to make a flanking maneuver. You're joining us when we have just reached the enemy's base and are all the way around on the other side of the field. So now it's time to head back into the game and start shooting stuff. Since the opposing team's respawn is to our right, we decide to hold a little bit left and go straight on across the field. This way we'll be right behind the opposing team when we get near the VIP. It's go time, and when moving back, I spot an opponent. But do not take him out directly, since I hope he hasn't seen us, and if he saw us, I hope he just thinks we are teammates of him. However, my teammate Peter just decides to shoot him. And since we made some noise, it's go time from here. Now door, now door. Since the sound we just made probably meant the opposing team would be more alert, we have to move quicker now. And when I spot an opponent, I get into my cover. From this point onward, I want to get as quickly as possible out of the area where the persons we just shot are respawning pretty soon. This however also meant we had to cross deeper into the terrain filled with opponents. So hope for the best, expect the worst. With the open field cleared, we are now in a perfect position, since this location is only accessible when you're coming from the opposing team's base. This means that if someone sees us here, they do not expect we are from the opposing team, and therefore leave us alone. There is however one opponent that saw us moving from their base. But luckily Peter spots him in time, and we managed to take him out before he could do any harm to us. Since the VIP could be in our base at any given moment, we need to pick up the pace and move a little bit faster and closer towards the VIP, so we can stop him from moving forward. I now have visual on the VIP. Whenever the VIP gets shot, he has to wait for 90 seconds before he can engage again. I also spot an opponent and decide to take him out first, because the VIP is still waiting to respawn. The VIP is nearly done counting, and therefore I start aiming at him. While I do that, I spot an opponent. And now it's time to take out the VIP. While he's counting up, he reaches the 90 mark and is ready to engage. However, just directly after, my BB stop that from happening. The VIP fights for whichever team is guarding him. So we can get the VIP in our team and plant the bomb in their base. While doing this, I managed to take out two targets, but also make a crucial mistake. I look to my left and see a third opponent, or I think it is an opponent, but do not know for sure. After I look for the third time, I see he is an opponent. But it's already too late. Eerst twee keer kijken, is er een tegenstander? Nee, ben ik te laat. Well, this flanking maneuver was fun while it lasted. Due to our actions, we managed to 
clear most of the opponents and grab the VIP for our own. So in other words, great success. This also marks the end of this video. I'm Rob from HDDR Entertainment and see you on the field. Nice!